So I was sitting down and I was wondering, how did I get here? Like the anime that I watch, you know, I'm like, what is the earliest memory that I had whenever I was a child and came up on anime? But, you know, it was like kids WB days. Like you woke up at like 630, 7 in the morning, ran to the living room. You were still in your PJs. Your parents weren't even up yet. And you put on kids WB and you're trying to watch like Shaolin Showdown. Nacho Libre, huh? Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon will come on. Dang, there were just so many shows. Jackie Chan, whenever I got introduced to like one of the big three. Yeah, Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, right? Whenever I got introduced to one of those, I may have been around like maybe 12, probably like 12 years old. I remember I was in New Orleans. As soon as I would get home from school, I'd throw my bag on the ground and then turn on Cartoon Network because Dragon Ball Z was coming on. Like I was there for Goku turning Super Saiyan against Frieza. Yeah. As soon as I got home, I know I had homework to do, didn't even do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, I got to watch this. I got to watch this. My dad wouldn't get off work until like maybe like, I don't know, maybe like five, six, like Hurricane Katrina happened, right? And I was trying to figure out like what to watch one day. Uh, I was in Florida and I like turned Cartoon Network on and you know, the little tsunami guy came on and he was talking about uh, Naruto, a ninja, this, 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 and that. I'll probably throw the clip up somewhere like right around here. After I had finished watching like a couple episodes of Naruto, it was over. I was in the I was in the bedroom, like jumping on the bed, throwing the pillow up, like fucking punching that bitch, like acting like I was doing like ninjutsu and shit. I mean, whatever, bro. Like that was that was how I was doing it. Got into school, right? And whenever whenever we're in high school, anime, you are you're closeted about it. Let's keep huh? it real. Like a lot of people, they were either the outcasts if they were in the anime, especially if you was black. Like I, I think that every black person that I know just watch anime. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think everybody who's black secretly watched anime in high school. And there are probably a lot of them to this day that still refuse to admit that. Because they think that girls are going to think that's lame. If a girl thinks that something you're passionate about is lame, you shouldn't even be like, you know, given that the time of day to begin with. <laughs> so anyway, getting back into high school is the fact that I had to have been 15. The lunch bell had rang and we had like third lunch. There would always be this kid whenever we walked out that would just start running down the hallway and he would do like a Naruto run. And him and like another kid, they would have like the Naruto headbands and everything. And in my head, I was like thinking in my thinking to myself, I was like, damn, I was like, these kids are like wild, right? Whenever that kid, he whenever he was running through the hallway, right? He was putting his arms behind his back, he was doing his Naruto run. One of the guys that was in my class, you know who you are. You're fucked up. I ain't saying nothing, so I guess I'm fucked up too. What he did was whenever he was running down the hall, he came out, tripped him, tripped the kid kid fell he slid like a good 10 feet you know kids is laughing he got up grabbed his stuff ran to the double doors busted out of there ran to the lunchroom i know you know who you are and i know you probably fucked up about that a little bit because that was that was some green ass shit that ass. so not saying i would get picked on but if people were like pushing my buttons and actually like trying to get physical and like tripping me up like that oh hell no nah, bro no i was raised not to let nobody fuck you like that but when i think about it today they were way ahead of their time. Nobody was going to talk to you if you was that kid that was throwing up hand signs, but they wasn't like gang signs or nothing. You just sit here doing ninjutsu and then running, running down the hallway. Ain't nobody was going to try to be your friend. But I'm, I'm jealous of those kids now, today, because I felt like if I would have been real about you know, specific passions back then, but you couldn't really help it that much because you didn't want to draw attention to yourself and then be a target. You know what I mean? My camera keeps focusing on Zoro's face. Let's see. It just keeps grabbing his eyes. Like, come on, bro. I'm right here. But yeah, I just wanted to like get up on here and then just give a couple thoughts on, you know, like if you've been into anime for the last decade, I was just thinking, I was like, damn anime has been a part of like more than half of my life you know what i mean so i was like where did it start you know me just watching luffy have his arm stretch 
I would like pull my arm back and just try to like punch the shit out of the pillow, you know, acting like my arm would stretch from wall to wall and then the pillow just go right through the wall. I was watching, I was trying to get on my dad's slow dial up computer and I was trying to watch Bleach and I could only find like 10 minute clips and it would be like part one, part two, part three. I would literally look up every single part because they, you know how copyright was, they had to break up the video into like three different pieces. So I would sit there and it'd be clicking off pop-ups, everything like back and forth, refreshing the page because something would crash. I was just trying to watch the whole episode, you know? And then I remember when I got my own laptop, right? It was like the summer of my sophomore year or my junior year. I spent the entire summer watching Naruto Shippuden. I was real. As soon as I wake up, I run to the kitchen. If I if I didn't really have like breakfast to make or anything like that, like waffles or something, it would already probably be like 12 p.m. So I would just pop like bagel bites or pizza rolls in the microwave, let that heat up, go get the episode set up. I would have like we, we was budgeting back, all right? So I ain't have, like, money and shit like that. So, you know, I, I would set up um, a box on my bed, right? Like a like a, uh, like an Amazon box. And then I would take, <clears throat> like, a couple books and then put it in the, in the inside the box so that I could put my laptop on top. So Because, like, I didn't want the box to, like, cave in because, you know, the tape was kind of, like, weak or whatever. So I was just using the box as a stand. Run out. Before the microwave hit zero, it was on one, you know, one second, hit the stop or pulled the door, got my bagel bites with some ranch. You need some ranch. Had a bev, you know what I'm saying? I, Pepsi, shout out to Pepsi. If you're looking for a sponsor, it's right here, you know what I'm saying? I with Pepsi. Also, essential water, if you want to, you know, give me a little shout out, you know what I'm saying? I be, I was, I was the first one drinking these. I was the first one drinking these. Yeah, set the laptop up, and I was watching Naruto ship it in. And I think, like, the most rent free memory that i have which is probably going to be totally different from everybody else's shikamaru the the um his teacher right like his second father uh i thought it started with the a you know what i'm saying like he he was that he was um his teacher that had he was with the girl that had like the red eyes too she was also a ninja and they had like a kid together or some shit. you remember when the whenever he was fighting the akatsuki and then they were doing like flashbacks so like shikamaru his wife and then his kid and then he had he was trying to make sure that he like could really finish the fight and put the akatsuki away and then he ended up dying right and the other dude was just buried yeah because he was like immortal or something right wasn't it that's one of the most vivid memories for me He's not like, and it's not like Shikamaru and, um, I was, I can't remember his name. Not, he wasn't like my favorite or nothing like that, but still the fact that it was like, it was, it was a good scene. It was a good scene. It was like that Jiraiya and Naruto type of scene. You know what I mean? Bleach. I would always catch Bleach really late. Like I think Bleach would come on super late and I would always watch like bits and pieces of it until I would see like a particular fight scene that caught my eye. And then I would want to go ahead and watch it. Like I said, like I, I, as soon as I started liking it, I would get home from school, ask my dad if I could use the computer. He'd be like, you got homework? I'd be like, get it already. You know? And then he'd be like, all right, whatever. Go ahead. And then I would just watch those part one, part two, part three clips. Yeah, that's how I fell into, you know, One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach, and Dragon Ball. The Majin Buu saga, Cell saga, all of that stuff leading up. But Super is kind of like falling off for me. The power scaling is kind of getting out of hand. Rest in peace, Akira Toriyama. Thank you for everything that you have done for anime. And thank you for getting me involved and being a part of my childhood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to have been like seven years old the first time I had come up on like Dragon Ball. Seven. Because I remember I was in elementary school still drawing up Goku and Gohan or, you know, attempting other characters. But... Goku, Gohan, Vegeta were like my favorite characters. So that was, those were like the first ones that I was drawing back in the day. So let me know again which animes that got you into your journey today and what has fueled your addiction to like quench that thirst for like new anime. You know what I mean? Like every single year, I'm sure all of you are looking up best anime of summer like 2024. Yeah, winter, early winter 2025, you know, like. Let me know. Let me know what anime has caught your eye. Let me know what y'all get into, what you're looking forward to coming up. Because, uh, you know, I just wanted to get on here and share that with y'all, you know. So, all right. Peace. I'm going to go find something else to do.